So over the last few years, I've learned that not all antivirus programs are created equal. I think I've tried, well, just about all of them. Most cover the basics, but in real life situations, some do not offer the protection that we need. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we are checking out my top antivirus picks, Norton, Total AV, Bitdefender, and McAfee. We're going to talk about the features, pricing, pros and cons, and how they all stack up. It doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Mac. And I promise you by the end of this video, you will have a better idea which one could work best for you. All right, let's start off with the biggest name in the antivirus software space, Norton Antivirus. It was founded in the early 90s, and they've established themselves as a major player in this space. Most experts and reviewers regard Norton as one of the best performing security providers in the world. When it comes to plans, they offer Norton Antivirus Plus, which starts at around 30 bucks for the first year and covers a single device with their antivirus, a firewall, and a malware software, anti-hacking features and two gigs of cloud backup, as well as their encrypted password manager. Next, they do have the standard plan, which includes everything from the Plus plan, along with a VPN and dark web monitoring on up to three devices. This one goes for about 40 bucks a year. Now, for $10 more, you can level up to the deluxe plan, which gets you everything covered under the standard plan, as well as 50 gigs of cloud space and parental control software for up to five devices. And then jumping on up to the highest tier, the select plan goes for 100 bucks for the first year and includes all of the deluxe plan features along with LifeLock ID protection, 250 gigs of cloud backup, social security number and credit alerts, and credit monitoring, as well as up to $25,000 in stolen funds reimbursement. Now this plan covers up to 10 devices, so if you have a big household that uses a lot of tech, then this is absolutely the way to go. Now I've used Norton many times over the years and I've talked about my own personal experience with Norton in a separate review. And in my opinion, they're definitely one of the best antivirus services out there. So I'll link that video down in the description if you're interested in learning more about them specifically. Next up, we have Total AV, which is another well-known antivirus software that offers a lot of added tools and features. It's incredibly easy to use, even if you're not super tech savvy. And just like Norton, it's great at catching and stopping malware without dragging down your computer's performance because what's special about Total AV is that it operates in the cloud and it even has a limited free version. Now, the nice thing about their plans is that they all pretty much offer the same tools, with the only major differences being the number of devices that you can cover, as well as just a couple of key features. Now, their premium plan costs just under 20 bucks for the first year and covers up to three devices. Meanwhile, their internet security plan goes for around 40 bucks for the first year and covers up to six devices, while also giving you access to their VPN. And VPNs aren't only great for protecting your online activity, but using one can also get you access to content that wouldn't be normally available where you're located. Meaning you could have Netflix libraries based out of a different country to stream different types of shows. Now, lastly, their total security plan costs around 50 bucks for the first year and will get you coverage for up to eight devices, along with their total password protection, which is their built-in encrypted password manager. Now, with each of Total AV's plans, you get the antivirus, malware defense software, and zero-day cloud scanning, which uses the cloud to spot and stop unfamiliar threats, keeping all of your devices safe without actually slowing them down. They also have a bunch of additional features like a disk cleaner to help keep your drives clean and safe, and protection across both iOS and Android devices. Plus, they do have something called PUA, which stands for Potentially Unwanted Application, this protection feature is designed to identify and block software that might not be harmful or necessarily malicious, but it might be unwanted, annoying, or harmful in some way. Things like adware, browsing toolbars that you're never gonna use, system optimizers, or other useless clutter that often comes bundled with free software downloads. And as a reminder, if you wanna try out Total AV or any of these antivirus services, then check out the affiliate links down in the description Sometimes we do have special deals that aren't always available on their websites. Third on the list is Bitdefender, which offers a great set of plans that allow you to protect a larger number of devices. This makes it perfect for small businesses that expect to grow and would need to expand their coverage to more devices over time. So their antivirus plan goes for around 30 bucks for the first year and gives you their standard protection suite against adware, malware, web attacks, and ransomware. 
Then there's the total security plan, which costs around 60 bucks in the first year. And that includes features like smart call blocking to filter spam and scam calls, a password manager, a VPN with 200 megabytes of daily traffic and data breach monitoring to alert you if your credentials have just been leaked. Just note that some of these tools like call blocking and breach alerts are only available on Android. Now, all of Bitdefender's plans include ransomware protection, as well as an advanced anti-exploit feature that helps guard your devices against hacking. Plus, they also have a fileless attack system that uses machine learning to detect and block fileless malware before it can run. On top of all of that, they offer a bunch of additional features from protecting phones, as well as tools that are specifically designed to provide security for Amazon Web Services and cloud-based servers. Now topping off the list for today is McAfee, and they were among the first antivirus software companies to gain success during the early years of the internet. So one of the first things that I should highlight about McAfee is their identity protection features that keep you covered in case of any of your personal data or your documents get compromised online, which could otherwise cause some pretty serious losses. Now, in terms of pricing, the essential plan is their entry level option, and it covers up to five devices. You get all the core features like an antivirus, a secure firewall, real-time threat protection, a password manager, and even a VPN. Though the VPN only works if you have an auto renew turned on, it's a good fit if you just need strong basic protection across a few devices, whether it's Windows, Mac, or mobile. If you want something with even more protection, the advanced individual plan adds identity monitoring, credit monitoring, and up to $1 million in identity theft coverage. It also includes recovery support if something goes wrong, like help with freezing your credit or restoring your identity. And if you've got more than one person to protect, there is the advanced family plan, which gives you all of the same features, but expands coverage to more users. So that wraps up my review of these four fantastic antivirus programs. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, then please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content just like this. Just so you know who I pick, it's Norton, because in my experience, They've been the best in terms of functionality and speed, but make no mistake about it, all four of these are incredible and definitely worth the price. So it really just comes down to your specific needs. And as a reminder, if you decide to try any of these antivirus services, the links in the description will take you to the best current deals if there are any available. In most cases, you'll find deals there that aren't always listed on their official websites. Also, if you are interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description below. As always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts and I'll try to get back to any questions or comments you leave down below as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.